एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर पार्थ गोस्वामी एंड टूडे आई विल टीच यू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम सेल इंजरी दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द नेक्रोसिस एंड अपोप्टोसिस नाउ बिफोर आई स्टार्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर डिस्कशन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू सी माई वीडियो अबाउट द नेक्रोसिस एंड अपोप्टोसिस एंड आई हैव अपलोड आई हैव अपलोडेड दिस वीडियोज बिफोर फ्यू डेज एंड यू कैन चेक द लिंक इन द प्ले इन माई डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन राइट और राइट सो फर्स्ट डिफरेंस इज इन द सेल साइज in the necrosis cell size is increase right while in the apoptosis you will have the reduction of the cell size the second difference is in the nucleus in the necrosis mainly you will have the pycnosis karyorrhexis and karyolysis right pycnosis means nuclear condensation which can also observed in apoptosis second one is karyorrhexis in which you will you will have the fragmentation of nucleus and third one is karyolysis means dissolution of the nuclear chromatin while the characteristic feature of apoptosis is that you will have the fragmentation of dna into the nucleosome size fragment and that is the reason you will have the step ladder pattern in electrophoresis right third important difference between the necrosis and apoptosis is plasma membrane in the necrosis you will have damage of your plasma membrane while in the apoptosis the cell membrane is totally intact but structure is altered so that the cell will undergo apoptosis right membrane is not damaged in apoptosis that is a very important difference in the necrosis you will have the enzymatic digestion of the cell content right the cellular contents will be digested by lysosomal enzymes in the necrosis and because of your damage in the plasma this damaged structure this digested cellular content can be released outside the cell right because you have the damage of the membrane so it can leak out of the cell right while in the apoptosis the cellular content content is intact here there will be no enzymatic digestion and you will have the release of cellular content into a cytoplasmic protrusions which will be separated from plasma membrane and which is known by the name apoptotic bodies so here you will have the apoptotic body right the cell membrane is not damaged but the cell membrane is altered so you will form apoptotic bodies in which you have the cellular content of the cell all right now because of the membrane damage in the necrosis you will have adjacent inflammation while in the apoptosis there will be no inflammation because the membrane is not damaged right you have to remember that necrosis is always pathological always pathological right while the apoptosis can be physiological as well as pathological but the necrosis is always pathological all right now as far as the biochemical events events is concerned in the necrosis you will have the impairment or the cessation of the iron homeostasis right but in the apoptosis the main biochemical event is caspase activation and so you will have the energy dependent energy dependent programmed cell death right you will have the fragmentation of the dna by the endonuclease activation so main event is caspase activation and subsequently you will have the endonuclease activation which will damage the dna in the apoptosis while in the necrosis you will have cessation of iron homeostasis all right now as we have discussed in the necrosis you will have the cellular content digestion by lysosome so it will be released out of the cell right but lysosomes are intact in apoptosis necrosis usually involve group of cell while the apoptosis can involve single cell or a small group or cluster of cell if you do the dna electrophoresis by agarose gel electrophoresis then you will observe a smear pattern in the necrosis while as we have discussed because of endonuclease activation you will have nucleosome size fragment and so they will form a step ladder pattern in the electrophoresis which is a very important mcq so in the apoptosis you will have a step ladder electrophoresis right dna pattern is of step ladder while here it is a smearing effect if you do the tunnel staining right 
then it will be negative in necrosis but it is positive in apoptosis because you will have a dna damage right you will have the nucleosome size fragment damage that's why the tunnel staining is positive in apoptosis so this is all about the difference between the necrosis and apoptosis so friends remember that main difference between the necrosis and apoptosis is that in the necrosis you will have you will have the plasma membrane damage while in the apoptosis you don't have plasma membrane damage but the plasma membrane is altered so that apoptotic body will form right while in the necrosis because of cell membrane damage you will have the inflammation and you will have the release of cell content from the damaged membrane while in the apoptosis the inflammation is not present because the cell membrane is intact and remember that apoptosis can be physiological or pathological while necrosis is always pathological the main biochemical event in the apoptosis is caspase act caspase activation and so you will have endonuclease activation which will damage the dna into nucleosome size fragment all right you will find the link uh, you can see the link of the necrosis and apoptosis videos in my description section thank you very much and see you soon in the next video Till then, take care and bye-bye.